You've got to get used to that weight, try not to bash the ends of your fingertips. In this video, I'm going to be talking all about the rattan nunchucks we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm going to be talking about some of their features, why you'd buy these over other nunchucks, and at the end, I'm going to give you a few little tips and tricks to get you started with nunchucks. Hi, my name is Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the Rattan Nunchaku we have for sale at Enzo. These Rattan Nunchucks are relatively new to Enzo Martial Arts. We haven't had them in that long. Now these are quite a nice, pair of nunchucks because rattan's so light it actually acts as a little bridge between the lighter nunchucks and the heavier ones so for those people that have been training with foam quite a long time they've got used to the weight of the foam and they want to move on to something harder move on to the wood it's quite a big jump between the foam and the wood in terms of weight now the rattan sit in between that so yes it's hard yeah it's going to give you a knock when it hits you but because it's light it's going to bounce off a little bit more rather than the wooden ones just smashing through you so these rattan chucks yeah nice and light much close to the foam weight rather than the wooden weight so it's a really good transition but moving on to something harder and getting used to the hardness of the chuck but being able to not have to adapt to the weight as well at the same time so yeah really good feature really good one for the nunchucker collectors just to add it something different something different to train with uh, different material to get used to but yeah also good as those people transitioning onto wood so these rattan so again it's it's a bit like bamboo but it's solid all the way through rather than hollow like bamboo so it doesn't splinter anywhere near as much and you've got this burnt design up the rattan. This is a this is like a plain rattan, so it makes it really smooth all the way up. It's got the ball bearing chucks, which gives you a really, really smooth action while training. And you've got that down both lengths of the chucks. So yeah, the ball bearer makes them spin really, really fast. And the weight of them means that you're, you're not getting so much of a workout with your arms. But like I said, it's probably not what you're looking for with these. What you're looking for is about transition and also having a really light, nice foam nunchuck that moves really smooth in the air. So nunchucks have got quite a long history in terms of being a farming tool used for threshing rice and separating out parts of the rice for the farmers. And they kind of have merged into martial arts along with the other kind of peasant weapons like in Japanese Kabuto. So they're one of those, but they don't tend to feature that much in martial arts styles, like individual syllabuses from styles. So most people that buy these are just buying them for a bit of fun. They just want to practice in their back garden and get used to practicing with nunchucks. There are a few clubs around that do teach them. They kind of bolt them onto the end of a class and a bit of training so people can get, have a go with nunchucks. It's a relatively easy weapon to pick up, but because of the danger factor of bashing yourself, it's quite good fun. It gives a little sort of um, air of danger while you're training with them. So people really like training with chucks and it's very much a solo practice weapon. So you can do it on your own, in your bedroom, at home, in your garden, whatever. Just having a look at the dimensions. Now chucks are all pretty standard. They're all around the 12 inch mark. And these are absolutely no exception, just slightly over. 12 inches, 31 centimeters. Now the diameter of these is very similar to wood, which is really good again if you're transitioning because you, the ch wooden chucks are thinner than the foam ones, I guess, because they need the padding. So it's one inch or two and a half, three centimeters. Because of that thickness, again, it gets you used to just holding something that's slightly thinner and slightly less grippy. The foam padded ones give you loads and loads of grip. So getting used to the kind of very smooth feeling of the chuck is also another good feature to help you transition onto the heavier wood ones. And just having a look at the weight, these weigh in about 250 grams, so around the similar weight of the foam nunchakus rather than the much heavier wooden nunchucks. 
So as promised at the beginning of the video, a few tips and tricks just to get you started with chucks if you're new to them. So this is not an advanced class, this is just a few basic things just to get you started. So the first thing I like to do, obviously just to get used to spinning them, crossing them over your body, just having a play with them, spinning them around, nothing too fancy, just get used to having them spinning around in front of your head and try not to bash yourself. The first trick I like to start people on is just catching them under your elbow. So just get used to spinning them round, get used to that relatively light weight, catching them underneath your arm. Now I've just moved down from heavy chucks just to make this video, so I'm noticing I'm having to give it a bit more welly to get the chuck to actually land into my hand. So always with a new pair of chucks, you've got to adapt, you've got to get used to that weight, you've got to change up what you're doing a bit try not to bash the ends of your fingertips. Ooh. Nice and simple, changing sides, getting used to releasing them, catching them in your hand, get used to that hand-eye coordination and timing of where the chuck's gonna be at the right place, right time. This can be extended where you can just catch it over your back. So again, there's loads of opportunities to smack yourself in the back and in the bum and all the rest of it. But yeah, this is, this is a good one it's just to practice behind your back. Again, just getting used to positioning your hand in the right place, closing your hand over the chuck over the right time. Nice, relatively simple trick, but a good one to have in your arsenal. The third trick that for the newbies will really bake their noodles, which I like, is, is just doing hand rolls. So just spin them around your hands, nice and simple. So much opportunity for them to fly off all over the place, fly backwards, forwards, any which way you can, out of your hands. But yeah, just spinning them around your hands, getting used to rela releasing and catching the same chuck, and getting used to that timing of when you let it go, and when you catch it again, and keeping a nice fluid spin all the way around. So yeah, hand rolls are good fun, but be warned, don't do it near a glass window or anything breakable. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the Rata Nunchaku we have for sale. If you like this video, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers.